She the one who needed the prayer. Right. She the one who needed the prayer. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20. Yeah, Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, I think. About the hypocrites. Start at verse 5. You a hypocrite. Christianity is hypocrisy. Christianity don't do nothing that Christ told them to do. Do you keep the commandments of God? What commandments you keep? Everything. Why you dress it? Why you why you dress like that out here? Why are you dressed like that out here? I'm gonna ask you this. Listen to this read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter six and verse five. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. He said, when you pray, you shouldn't be like the hypocrites. Read this one. Do you believe in Jesus? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Of course. Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. I right, listen. And when thou pray, who was the hypocrites at that time? Pharisees. Okay, thank That's you. The Pharisees. Now, the Pharisees. All right, listen, listen. Hold on. Let's see what the hypocrites, the Pharisees, was doing. Read. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. What, what is this right here that you was wearing at? No. No, no, no. no, no. What was that? No. Sis, it doesn't sis. Make sense. What was it doesn't that? Make sense. Sis, what was that? Sis, what was that? That was the corner of the street. Read that again. No, Bring it out. No, For no, they love no, to no. pray standing in the synagogues. You, they love to pray. The hypocrites, the Pharisees, right? Read. Hold on. I'm going to let you talk until you. You got to answer my questions. but No, I'm going to let you talk next. But I need you, if we, look, we can have a dialogue, but you got to sit up here, you got to answer the questions that I'm asking. Hold on, let's finish, read. And in the corners of the street. It's not that a corner of the street, answer that. Is that not a, hold on, is that not a corner of the street? Is that, hold on, is that not a corner of the street? I need, yes or no? No, I'm going to, hey, let's finish this scripture. I need you to answer that. Was you not praying in the corner of the street? I wasn't praying for me. Oh, man. Keep going. Read on. That they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you. are doing this just to be seen of men. You a Pharisee. You the Pharisee. Read on. Verily I say unto you. Look, Christ said, verily he says unto you, sis. Christ said, verily I say unto you. Read. They have their reward. He said, you got your reward. Read on. But thou, when thou prayest, Enter into thy closet. Now, when you pray, enter into the closet. Now, when you pray for somebody, get James chapter 5, verse 14. James 5 and 14. This is what you do when you pray for somebody. This is how you pray for somebody. You a hypocrite. You a Pharisee. You called us a you called us a Pharisee. You don't keep the commandments. You won't answer the questions. You should answer it. All right, all right, hold on. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Is that a corner of the street? Is that a corner of the street? In the corner of the street. In the corner of the street. Did he say in the corners of the street? Anywhere. No, this is what he said. This is how you pray for the sick. Read it out. This is the book of James, chapter five. In verse 14, yeah. is any sick among you? It says, any sick among you, read. Let him call for the elders. Oh, the elders, read. Of the church. Of the, is you the elder of the church? Bring it on. Is you the elder of the church? Is that the only that it's has yes or no. Why do you want to answer yes or no? It says, let him call for the elders, read. And let them pray over him. It said, let them, let them, let the elders of the church pray over him, read. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. Why you anointing all that? Why you why you anointing all that? Why is your anointing all? Bring it up. Why is your anointing? See, she ain't gonna answer none of these questions. That's what I'm saying. Christianity is not of God. Bring it up. Christianity is of Satan. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Christ said, no, Christ said up there and said, Christ said, don't pray like the hypocrites, like the Pharisees you claim us to be in the street corner. Here, James sit up there and say, how are you supposed to pray and why are you supposed to pray? We don't. 
the name of the Lord. And the, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. It's saying the prayer of faith shall save the sick. You didn't even believe that you could heal that brother leg over there. And all the reason, and all, I'm going to tell you this. Don, you know why he got a cane? Do you know why he got the cane? Because, no, he's drunk. He need the cane to hold him up. He be not to walk. I know, because look. What other guy with the wheelchair that was serving everybody? He gone. Uh, he gone. He had a big bottle of vodka out here. All of them was pouring the vodka in their things. Everybody was everybody was drinking at the uh, bus stop. So if that's the case, why does he have a can? Not on the wheelchair. Why what you say? Down on the, on the bench. What, no, I'm telling you this. Look, listen to me. Listen to me. You said, why does he what? Why does he have to have a king? Because he, cause he drunk. He, the no. king hold him up. That's what I'm I trying to tell you. The, no, the king can't hold drunk people up. <laughs> people that are habitual drinkers, they know how to sit up there and hold their balance with something when they so, drink. Have you been there before? Yeah, I've been, I've been drunk before. But I repent it, and I keep the commandments of God. Now go right back to Matthew 6. No, I don't need no cane. I didn't need no cane. I'd have been drunk. I was able to walk around drunk. He's an older man. I'm a younger man. I still had my strength, meaning I still had my focus. He don't got his focus. I just His uncle was out here at the time. Now go back to Matthew 6 and 11. And I mean, finish that up. Now go to where you left off at. Yes, sir. This is the book of James, chapter 5 in verse 4. four no, Matthew 6. Yes, sir. Matthew 6, Matthew 6 and verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter in thy, into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father. Because look, I believe, I look, all of that. look, I sis, all of that. I ain't against I you. All all of that. I believe you got good intentions. I believe, I believe you got good intentions. I just think you need to re be retold. I believe you can be a righteous woman, but I believe you don't know the Bible. I haven't judged you yet. You're judging me. I'm not judging you. I am not judging you. What is judgment? I am not condemned you. I am not condemned you. Sis, I am not condemned. I just said, I believe that you can be a righteous sister. I believe that you can be a God, but I know you don't know the Bible. Right, let's read it again. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy You pray and say, enter to your closet. Then he said, when you shut your door, read. Pray to thy father, which is in secret. You pray to the father, which is in secret. Read. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. He said, because I'm going to go home, I'm going to go in secret in the closet, and I'm going to pray for you okay, and all of our people that was out here today that's struggling and going through oppression and that's oppressed and crushed always. Right. We are the Israelites, the Bible speaks of, so we God chosen people. Now get, the, get that in John 9, verse 30. Now hold on, hold on. All right, all right, verse 7. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions. Don't use vain repetitions. Was you not on your knees talking about, yeah, Father, heal his knees, Father, heal his knees, Father. How the hell is that feel? Why was you using vain repetition, repeating the same thing? You was using vain repetition. We don't use not vain repetition. You pray, don't use vain repetition, sis. As the heathen do. As the heathen do, because we didn't we never pray like that. We don't. For they think that for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. You see that you thought you was gonna be heard for your much speaking. You didn't know that the spirit of the Lord was gonna be out here today to correct you for your much speaking. Nation is unity. Nation is 